Hello everybody, welcome to Auntie Amanda's Kitchen. Today, what I'm making is a very simple, easy way of making shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie has three layers. There's the meat, then you'll have whatever veggies you would like. Today I'm putting on corn and green beans, and then you have mashed potatoes. And after that, you can put cheese on top if you would like. So what we do to start it out is we put about a half a small brown onion into the frying pan with about three cloves of garlic. You can always use more if you want. And you just want to cook this till the onion is translucent. While this is cooked, I've already been boiling my potatoes so I can get them ready for mashed potatoes to go on top. So while those are cooking, cook those for about an hour. But in the middle of that, start preparing your meat. So if you look at these onions, you can tell it's see-through. So that's what you want. And then when that happens, you add your ground beef. So we're gonna add ground beef and we're gonna brown the ground beef. Okay, as you can see, the the meat is now getting brown and finishing up cooking. While this is finishing up cooking, the oh, potatoes are already done. So what I did is I put it in my standalone mixer. I added about half a cup of butter. It all depends on what, how much butter you want on it. A little bit of salt in it to bring up the flavor. You don't have to add the salt. And once it's done mixing, it'll be ready to go on top. You can add milk or sour cream to it if you'd like. Here is my first layer, which is the ground beef we just cooked in the pan. There are some spaces in here, but that's okay because I'm using two different types of vegetables. I wanted green beans and I also wanted some corn. So we're gonna layer the top with green beans and corn. Then what we're gonna do is put the mashed potatoes on top. Let's do that. After I'm done smoothing everything out, we're gonna stick it in the oven for at 375 for 30 minutes. We're gonna take it out, add some cheese on top because I got a request for cheese. And then after that, uh, we'll bake it for about 15 minutes more until bubbly brown on top and then we'll have dinner. Be back soon, as soon as this is done baking, I will show you the results. Thank you. Welcome back, this is our end product, shepherd's pie. I baked it for 30 minutes at 375, added cheese, and then baked it for another 15 minutes. I hope you enjoy it. You don't have to put the cheese on top, it's optional. Thank you for watching another video for from Auntie Amanda's Kitchen. Until next time, have a good day.